Welcome Leo. This is HP Marlene. This page, this is your love reading from the end of March through April. Um, I think it's March 27th today. So this will go through April 27th. Thank you so much for coming to the channel. All right. So I already did a pre-shuffle for you and this is what came out. Um, this is your love reading, but we're going to also go into your emotions, also go into what's assisting you and helping you during this time. If you're interested in a, um, Okay, I just saw Olive Leaf, okay? So I did want to communicate that to you. Someone is trying to kind of bridge a gap healing um, for you, but uh, you may not be accepting their or wanting to forgive them here. Um, I'm seeing that your energies are a little off. Let me just go ahead and get into it. I wanted to give you a little more information, but this is a general reading. Make sure you look at your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for more clarity. I'm going to look at your past, present, and future energies, and then we're going to do the same thing for your partner. Um, here, it'll be limited for your partner, but if you're interested in a more extended love reading where it talks more about your partner and the obstacles, challenges, and all of that, um, and more advice, then please uh, look below for the extended love reading. So right now, what I'm seeing for you is um, something holding you back here. Um, it's past energies that's holding you back, a lack of loyalty holding you back here, and it's throwing off, throwing you off your game, really. Um, what happened here in the past, I feel as though really um, affected you because it was your way of believing. Um, I feel like some of you may have felt like you are supposed to kind of be a little more controlling in as you deal with situations here in the past, but I feel like this was released or somebody was controlling over you. This could go vice versa, but there's a, le a level of control here. I feel like honestly, what I'm really feeling from this energy is based on your past, it was almost like allowing people to control you. You may not have felt like it was controlled, but this is just how you were just supposed to be, if that makes sense. If this, this is just how it is. It's kind of like that. It is what it is, you know? This is how my parents did it. This is how they're doing it. We're doing it. You know, that's how we kept it. Um, and this may have reduced the level of the passion in your relationship here. Okay. And the current energies I'm seeing here that, you know, this actually, this, you have, this could be the one, this is true love here. Uh, this could be a romance of a lifetime. And then you also have, you already met the romantic partner you see. And then in the near future here, we have new love, codependency in reverse. We have a heart to heart conversation coming up and this level of attraction that's, you know, making a comeback as it pertains to your relationship here. Okay. So I love this energy. This looks beautiful because it looks like you're coming out of maybe a controlling environment, um, maybe learning a new lesson, and then you're kind of moving into, um, you know, another level of love, if you will, okay? Whew. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Let's get a little deeper into the situation. Um, some of you who may need to do affirmations to assist you during this time, because I feel like it's challenging you, and you're trying to really change a pattern as it pertains to your life, Leo. Like, I mean, I feel like, you know, this is you trying to actually see things clearly. And in order to see them, because it seems like you're still a little off kilter at this time. Um, there's still a lack of peace at this time. Um, what I'm seeing here is that you may need to like go out in nature, you know, walk around in some grass, hug a tree. And I really mean this, no shoes on, go outside, ground your energy. However you want to ground your energy. You could do yoga, some grounding exercises, but I really see nature really being here for you. Um, you know, this is trying to teach you how to love unconditionally. But I feel like there's a level of fear, something that's holding you back. Maybe perhaps what you don't know is what's holding you back here. So let's go ahead and look in this past energies here. Letting go of control issues. Let's clarify that. Allowing the situation to unfold naturally. But this is a challenge for you. Or well, this was a challenge for you. There was a lack of patience here. Um, as well as healing that was necessary here in the past. So I feel like in the past, this is what you've been doing, trying to heal a situation. Yes, yeah, definitely healing a broken heart. This was hard times for you. You're trying to balance out your energy here from the past. And um, I just feel like you weren't attracted. You know, your feelings were real and worth exploring, but I felt like you didn't feel like exploring any feelings because you were still in this place of healing. 
I don't think you really wanted anything new. Uh, maybe perhaps some of you, it broke up your happy family. Maybe you're kind of disgusted with how things went because of the deception, um, because of the financial issues, and because, you know, in this love dynamic here. Okay, so there's a lot there that has been going on here for you here in this past energy. Okay, let's look in your current energy. We have true love here. This is a romance of a lifetime. Clarify this true love. Okay, so yes, with this true love here, you have great things definitely coming your way, but it looks like you need a plan, okay? Let's clarify this strategy. I'm gonna have to go a little deeper into this. Let me just clarify this though. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek here. Woo, yes. This, whoever this is, they're bringing forth healing and happiness. You just have to choose it, okay? Let me just go a little deeper here into this true love here because I see a strategy here or a need for a strategy. Let's clarify this strategy. What is it that you need to do? What is it that Leo needs to do currently in this situation, in this love situation? Okay. Mm. <sighs> okay, some of you may need to go to counseling here um, and deal with your perception or how you see this relationship. There's a lot that you've learned through this situation and if you're trying to heal this so you can move forward and have a new near future with this this is just an option you have to choose do you want to see a future with this person or not um but i feel like you're so you know so right now in your emotions it's very hard for you to separate your emotions from this because your emotions are telling you not to work on this but it looks like um if you really want this to kind of work out um you you really have to at least try to go to counseling because it looks like for some of you, you're not, you're not talking about this situation. It, it, it seems to be a need for a talk conversation. Um, but I feel like this will help you bring you to your, your blessings, but you just have to choose a path of happiness here. What, what is your path? What does that look like for you? Beautiful. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and look at your future energies here. We have attraction. I do believe you're coming out of this energy here. I do believe that as you come out of this energy, you know, there's a level of love that's going to reflect in this, okay? And you're going to be able to hopefully renew a love, come out of this place of addictions, codependencies, these, these toxic cycles is what I'm feeling. Um, and then we also have to allow you to have this conversation. I believe that you were really hurt here in the past, and this is what's making it stagnant for you to move forward here in the future. So let's go ahead here and let's look. Clarify the near future attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. This is a level of healing that I see coming here in the near future. Okay. You might need to take, to take you might need to take time out to rest. Uh, to calm your energies here. New love. Clarify new love. But I do still see this kind of keeping you up at night, though, either way. You are coming out of anxiety, which is a good thing. But some of you still feel kind of trapped in this energy. Let's see. This is that codependency. Co clarify this codependency. Please clarify this codependency. Okay, so somebody may be codependent upon you. And uh, maybe there's a decision that somebody needed to make and they haven't made it yet. This is someone who's very indecisive, doesn't really know what they want. This is this is their addiction or yours. Um, however, it's affecting you. It's affecting you. It's not. It may not be your addiction. It may be somebody else, but it's affecting you like an addiction. It's affecting you like someone who keeps bringing you into a cycle um, because they don't know what they want. So this was the issue here. And it looks like a conversation needs to be had regarding this. A heart-to-heart -heart conversation, honestly discussing your feelings with each other. Let's see. <sighs> what conversation needs to be discussed here? Yeah, it's time for you to discuss the lack of patience. The I feel like somebody was really going hard in this situation, wasn't allowing time to heal, wasn't allowing you to rest, wasn't allowing um, things to heal. I, I really feel like that. That's what's been happening here. But there's a it's a conversation that needs to be had about all of the heartache, the 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 battling. Literally, you have hostilities here. So it, there's a conversation that needs to be had about the level of hostility towards someone. I feel like verbal abuse even. You know, that's what I'm feeling like someone was very verbally 
toxic, you know, um, and I believe when people speak, speak negatively to you or about you, all of this can come into your energy. So you just have to defend yourself against it. Perhaps you had to defend yourself even against this. Okay. Let's go ahead and look into your partner briefly, and then let's get you guys some advice. So it looks like things are looking up for you. No doubt about it. Let's look at your partner's perspective. Thank you, Holy Spirit, ancestors, angels, and gods. What does your partner see here in the past? But remember, I want to tell you, Leo, see things clearly. Um, but I, I feel like there is a level of almost like I can't have this loyal love. You're just not at peace with this, okay? So your partner here, um, there may be a separation coming with your partner here. Or you may be getting away on a vacation, but nonetheless, again, I'm seeing this, maybe it's your partner that's not speaking up because there's a lack of expression of love here. And then we have flirting here. So, but to me, honestly, this combination of messages here for your partner really speaks to, I don't know, a lack of commitment, a very uncommittal, um, Okay, like the energy I'm seeing here, extending your lighthearted energy to one another. This flirting energy is here in the past. They're not expressing their love here um, or they have a hard time expressing their love here. Okay, so this speaks to that that communication I was telling you about. It's almost like if people are talking negatively, it's almost like it's loving to them. Again, to me, it's almost like this is what this person has saw. This is what this person has done in the past. This is, it's almost kind of immature, but it's not because this is just how they were raised. This is just what they saw. And this is just how they love. And um, so they may not be the one to speak, you know, positively or speak loving words, you know, in a romantic setting. Um and I feel like they don't because it's a level of fear here that's underlining this issue here. So they, they like to flirt and keep things kind of surface, not, not make it too deep, okay? And then we have, like, they may play around a lot, have jokes and stuff. I just heard that too. Like, they may be very playful, have a lot of jokes. We have here the honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss and holiday time together. Now, this can mean two things. So let me just pull one more message. Because honeymoon can mean that you could be going on vacation together. It could mean that, um, but it also can mean that this is the water here speaking to, you know, being far from each other, you know as well so let's just clarify the honeymoon really quickly and then i'll get you guys some advice clarify this honeymoon message for my dear leos enjoy the bliss of holiday time together mm, okay so it is separation like i said so it could be you coming together or it could be you kind of splitting apart so it is separation and this is a past life love so with all of that being said this um in the near future, there's someone here that you have a deep connection with that you may be becoming separated from, okay? I don't know if it's, or this is them. I'm sorry, this is them. This is them. So this is them that have a deep connection with someone, but there's also a separation that's coming. So I don't know if this is for you or for them. I just have to get a little deeper into it on the other side. If you guys are interested, definitely reach out to me. At the bottom of the deck, though, for them, it's safe for them to love. So it's safe for them to love you, opening up their heart. So I do see them opening up their heart to you in the near future. Let's go ahead and get your love advice really quickly. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And so thank you, God. <sighs> Overall energy advice for Leo. Do something for someone else. Give your attention to someone else. Okay, so take that how you want to take it. Um, it, it just leads me to believe that there may be a separation coming with you all to where you may need to be moving forward to a new love. Um, because it, it looks like this person here may still have either something going on here or they may be separating with you. Not only that, but it doesn't look like they're able to give you what you, you may need at this time. So spirit is saying, do something for someone else. Okay. Give your attention to someone else. So you might need to get a new love. All right, guys. I love you. Blessings, love, and light. Please make sure you thumbs up, share, and subscribe. I love you. Bye-bye.